welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Today, we're checking out another brand new vehicle. You might have seen it last week. We checked out this. As it turns out, it is an awesome, awesome vehicle in this game. In that video, I said that I wanted to check out some of the other Formula Drift cars. And I, I really wanted to check out this thing, the Toyota Corolla. This is Ryan Turk's Toyota Corolla. It's got a really cool wide body kit. And I have a feeling this is going to be a super sick drift car and maybe even a really really, really good race car. We will see. I will be honest, I have no idea how they got basically 1,200 horsepower out of a 2.6 liter engine. That is insane. I kind of love the front bumper on this thing. The wide body is just insane. I just lost No Nut November. I'm, uh, damn it. All of Twitch chat is yelling at me to pop the hood on the... Wait, what? That is an enormous turbo. Sick looking air filter. What a crazy vehicle. We've got the fuel tank in the back. We've got a cooler for some reason. Let's start today off with some Forza Horizon 5 customization. We've got our little 2.6 liter that has 1,200 horsepower. And we can swap in a 3 liter straight 6 turbo that is a single turbo 2JZ. You know what? I think for now we'll keep the stock engine. We'll come back in a moment and maybe swap in that other engine because it actually makes our class go down, which we might want to give a go when we do some racing. After that, we can come to our tires. We've got a whole bunch of tire compounds. Rally tires. I definitely like the idea of turning this into a rally car. Proper off-road chunky boys. Take a look at this other thing I noticed the other day. Look at the ride height of our vehicle with off-road tires. If we toss on like Horizon semi-slick tires, for example, it actually raises our vehicle up. For some reason with off-road tires, our vehicle ride height is lower. I know this thing is a drift car, but I, I, need, I need to try this. That is so cool. Chunky off-road tires make our tires thicker in the front. 285 in the front. That is ridiculous. Let's get some different rims. I don't really like those ones on here. Let's go for maybe those, maybe some 1552s. That's not bad. Let's let's start with those. We've also got some engine spacers available for this thing. That looks really good up in the front. In the rear, let's see how those fit. That's not bad. Definitely could have been a tiny bit more aggressive though. And then let's get some nice brakes onto this thing. That brings up our braking performance quite a bit, which is really, really nice. And then let's also go, we can toss on race suspension or rally suspension. Look at that chunky boy. Anyways, there we go. So after all of our upgrades, how are we looking? We're actually down at the bottom of S1 class, actually. Okay. I completely forgot to swap on all-wheel drive for a rally build. There we go. With all-wheel drive swapped on, we're nearly at the top of S1 class now. And last little thing, before we hit the open road, I need a paint job. Yes, like a nice cherry red on there. Then I want a carbon fiber hood. Oh, Twitch chat's yelling at me saying I should black out the roof. Yes, that looks so good. Let's take this thing over to an off-road circuit. Maybe over here, nice little point to point through the desert. Let's try that. Little Toyota Corolla. What an interesting set of vehicles that we're racing against with this thing. Okay, I'm already getting some understeer like that guy said I would. These off-road tires definitely aren't the best on the road. Take them off-road, and this is where they should shine. Maybe doing this event where we're driving half on-road, half off-road wasn't a very good idea because I got burnt off the line. Now I'm absolutely flying through. There we go. We're actually zooming. Okay, so I think what we've learned is do not take off-road tires on the road. Uh, duh. There is absolutely no slip out of these tires. I'm trying to handbrake it through the corners, and it's just... That's so crazy. Look at us. We're destroying the AI, pulling away so quickly, literally jumping over everything. I was so nervous after that first little opening of the race on the road, and I just understeered super wide. This thing off-road, though, is, is another animal. Look at it shooting a flame as it goes across the road. We absolutely destroyed the AI there. I knew this thing was going to be good at off-roading, but I, I didn't think it would be that good. If racing is going to be the name of the game with this thing, 
I think we need to do an on-road version of this build. So you know what I'm thinking? Maybe I swap in this engine. Then I swap in this, the stock drivetrain. So it's rear wheel drive. Can I? Maybe. I don't know if this is actually going to work. Oh, if I get drag tires on, that makes me... S1821, okay. I really want to drop down into A-class. Snow tires makes this close. I don't think this thing is going to be able to drop down into S1 class. Or A-class, excuse me. As it turns out, you can't cheese the PI system with this and get it to drive in A-class. So I guess again, we'll aim for S1. So let's swap back in the stock engine for this vehicle. And then let's get some nice, nice grippy tires. I'm thinking super slick race tires. I mean, we can make it all wheel drive, but do I want to? Let me play around with this build and I'm going to try to get it to be top of S1. That took me a whole bunch of upgrading, but now we're running the 2JZ engine. We weigh 300 pounds more than we did before because we have all wheel drive, but we also have full slick tires now. All right, so the 2JZ literally is just a flamethrower. I mean, at least it's in a Toyota, right? It could have been worse. Let's find another racetrack that I haven't driven around before. Come on, little Toyota Corolla. All wheel drive launch. I've actually got a shift before I can even see my little... My little speedometer come up in the screen. Whoa. 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 It's quick. How is it on the brakes? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Holy. Look at it in the corners too. Those tires are so good. Little switch back on the BMW. Le are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? I, I, I know this is a formula drift car at the end of the day, but this is a sick race car. This thing should not be this good at road racing. Like this is just ridiculous. It's a little, it's a little Toyota hatchback and I'm destroying things with it. I really like this car. This might be another very good all rounder in Forza Horizon 5. You know how we use that Nissan GTR? I think this might be another vehicle like the Nissan GTR that with the right tune, can kind of do anything. I think if you toss rally tires onto this vehicle, that's where you're gonna have the most fun and then tune it to go both on-road and off-road and you've got a car that can do a little bit of everything. This is so good. Heavy on the brakes, in, go, plow through the corner and there's the finish line. AI, I can't even see him. They're literally like a pixel back there. Somebody in Twitch chat is like, wait, what the hell is this thing? <laughs> if anybody wants to download this tune, it's S1 all wheel drive and it's also shared. Feel free to give it a go. Very good car. I think we should actually do what this vehicle is built to do. We got to give this a go drifting. So I think if we're going to do a little bit of drifting, let's make this rear wheel drive. Let's do this properly. And with the stock engine, the two JZ is cool, but the stock engine is just really cool. Our stock tires are actually drift tires for this vehicle. So just a heads up on that. I'm actually going to ditch the seven speed and go back to a stock transmission for this. And then we're also going to toss on a drift differential. I don't know why this thing doesn't have a drift diff stock but we'll toss one on anyways. Again, our stock suspension, that's actually drift suspension. So let's go for that. If we are going to be running a drift tune with this thing, I think we need to take it to some drift zones. Yo, this is a big drift zone. 240,000 points for three stars. I've never done this zone before. Let's try. Toyota Corolla into the zone we go. I haven't even done any test driving with this thing. Let's just, let's just send it in. See what this thing's got right the way through the zone. We are looking very good already. Keep it going. Keep it going. I need 240,000 points. This thing is so stable through the corners. I've got really bad gear ratios. I need to I need to fix up the tune a little bit. But I can already tell you that this thing is so good at drifting. There is three stars already. We're just going to keep this thing going. Can we get 300,000? Get 300,000, please. 300,000 on my first attempt. 314,000 points. Let's go. Here's a nice little drift zone. 110,000 points. 
for three stars. Okay, let's start over here. I fixed up the tune on this thing, and wow, it slides real nice. I'm going the wrong way through this drift zone. I'm going up the hill instead of down the hill. This is not going to be the best for points, but come on anyways. It's so stable. I, I'm going to try this zone going the other way as soon as we finish this up, but that's already three stars. We're doing real well. What an absolute beast. 150,000 points. I need to extend these gears myself. This is way better after we tuned it. Okay, into the zone again, going the other direction. Can we beat... 147,000. It just drifts. It drifts so nicely. Little Toyota Corolla. Are you kidding me now? This is where we're going to get some serious points. Come on, Corolla. Through the zone. Our gears might be a little bit long, but I'll leave them there. We're already up to 140. We've already beaten our personal best, and I'm literally messing up. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that the Toyota Corolla is a ridiculously good drifting vehicle. Toyota Corolla, awesome rear wheel drive drifter. Now, for those of you who don't know, this is Ken Block Sean, who makes some of my favorite drift tunes in this game. This tune that he's made is all wheel drive, which means it's gonna be super OP for getting points. Let's try this on one more drift zone. For our final drift zone, we are hitting up this. This is the Volcano Drift Zone. 500,000 points for three stars. Okay. All-wheel drive Toyota Corolla for the first time ever into the Volcano Drift Zone. Let's see what we got. This is obviously going to take me some, some attempts if I do want to get a million drift score. I think we might need something a little bit more OP than this. This vehicle's good at drifting, but definitely not that crazy OP level of drifting. This is ridiculous. It just snaps from side to side like it's nothing. Holy, look at it go. It just, it's a smoke machine. That's the best way of describing the Toyota Crayola. It is a literal smoke machine. It turns tire compound into smoke. And I'm okay with that. Definitely okay with that. How am I not getting points for some of that? I'm literally side... Look at my drift score. Why is my drift score not going up constantly? Oh, here we go, though. This is already going to be 500,000. And we've still got tons more room on this zone. Holy. This might be 700,000 point run. Maybe even 800,000. This is going so well. Wow, there's 600. Come on, we need more. We need more. We've still got a ton of corners left. I think I can actually get 800,000. Keep it going. Keep it going. 800,000 on our first ever attempt of this zone. Come on. Come on. There's 800K. A couple more corners to go through. Can we get 850? We are going to get 850. Wow. Wow. What a beast. 900? 900,000? 900,000 on our first ever attempt. Three stars. I'm honestly just so impressed with the Toyota Corolla in this game. It's such a little awesome vehicle that you can literally do anything with. I think you can see what I mean. In, reverse. <laughs> Toyota Corolla, you absolute mad lad. You need to check this vehicle out. Part of the Formula Drift Car Pack. What a monster. What an absolute monster.